Hey guys, Black Pot Gunner here, and I'm back. After two months, and a lot's gone on in my life. Part of that is I've moved to the state of Washington, I'm living in the Seattle area, uh, to the east in a city called Issaquah. It's right on the uh, foot of the Cascades. I have a new job that's been time consuming. I just moved into my new apartment up here, still waiting on furniture from the Netherlands, so going to be between real furniture and camping furniture for a while. And also, I want to uh, give shout outs to my buddy Alex, who endorsed my channel. You know, Vera Rifle Activities. I am extremely grateful. In my respects, my channels uh, exploded. I almost have 100 subscribers. First five. <coughs> and I've got some pretty good compliments on my first video. I also want to give a shout out to Francisco of rtiarms.shop. He, when I told him the uh, profit was stolen, he was, uh, I, you know, he knew I loved that gun. So, also the guys on Arrogant Nation, uh, you know, I really appreciate everything. And I also will, uh, for now, uh, hold off on shouting out someone I'm real appreciative to who's helping my channel get back on track well when I posted the profit got stolen someone who I spoke with you know emails back or met private messages back and forth in arrogant nation said hey Pete you know I can sorry hear about your profit so on and I have an extra gun I'd like to lend you on a long-term loan. And uh, I was like, you sure? Well, for about two weeks, I said, please wait. Let me get into my apartment. I'm still in the hotel. I want a gun safe. Well, I'm in the apartment. I have the gun safe. And I have the gun. An Aramax Arms Catran Compact in 25 cal with a vector optics, 3 to 12 scope, and a 0 dB moderator. I, sir, I'm very grateful. So the next steps are I'm going to be uh, going out to some permissions with some people. I also plan to buy. A Brocock Ranger XR in 22 caliber. The reason I chose that gun was one, we all saw Dana's video. It's abuse, it, you can abuse the hell out of it. Two, it is collapsible. It can just disappear in a backpack. And I guess it should go like this. You know, it's got the folding stock. And also, it'll meet my needs for the summer pesting. I plan, and I've spoken to Francisco, about a profit too, but those are not probably gonna be out for a couple months, plus I gotta earn the money for that. I bought a compressor I'll do a review on. It arrives tomorrow. I will be shooting with some other people and in the fall, I will go turkey shooting, and then I want a Leshy too. So, and part of that is I want the 20 caliber. I've always loved the 20 caliber, and there's, it's one, of the Leshy two kind of meets the foldable, compactable, and that's kind of the routes I like to go. I like compact guns. I'm not into the big monsters. Never have been. So, anyway, 
I'm back. Thank you very much for watching. And yeah. Here's the Catran again. And I will do my opinion of it. But from what I've seen, it's a pretty sweet gun though. I did do a dry fire. It definitely has a bit more bark, even with the muzzle on it, compared to the Profit. But 25 cal versus 177. And these things aren't necessarily known for being quiet. Anyway, I'll be out at farms and dairies, so I may get out to a gun range this weekend. The Issaquah is supposed to be really good. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and more content to come over the next couple weeks. To recap, the compressor comes tomorrow, I'll do a review on, and my comments on the gun, and then some live activity. Thanks for watching, and until next time. Shoot safe, stay safe. Ooh.